morning fishing noob nation it is august 31st 2017 and it is 9 15 a.m i am on my way back to my little spot out there on the san joaquin river i refuse to let this spot conquer me i will beat it i promise you that i'm gonna beat it if there's fish out there i'm gonna catch them right now it's probably about 75 degrees out here it's expected to be 103 degrees today so I'm going to start out early and get out there before it gets too hot. It's already starting to warm up a bit. I can feel it on my arm. Uh, I'll get back with you guys when I get to my spot. All right, fishing noobers, I am back. I'm all rigged up. I'm just going with some night crawlers for the time being. A couple of drop shots. There's stuff out here and there. There's little stuff, but you know, I don't care. If it bites that worm, I will bring it in. Oh, that's a snag already. At least my, my rig is still there. Everything's still there. Just gotta go put the worm back on. All right, I'm back, guys. Oh, look at that, I got somebody. Another little largemouth bass, spitting up his, his breakfast. Now look at that. See, I told you guys they were fishing here. A little largey. No, you smart asses, this is not my PB. <laughs> I don't like hooks in the fingers, guys. Dude, would you stop? I'm trying to get the hook out of your face. Well, there he is. He's got he's been caught before, so I'll be able to get that out pretty easy. Little largemouth bass. Well, I promised you guys I would catch you something. There's your catch. I'm going home. Nope, just kidding. Ha. <laughs> and I left all of my gear up here on the under this tree over here. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'll get back with you guys after I get rigged up again. All right, let's try this again, noobers. I try to stay off the boat dock right here because hooks have a tendency to get caught up on that thing. Yeah, kind of like that. And that, okay, I got it. Let's get that, let's check that. Okay, hook's there, but worm is not. I know you guys watched the, uh, my video of me, uh, showing you my, uh, my new Vibe C goes to 130. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get that thing out on the water for a while. I've been ordered from uh, by my doctor not to do any kind of exercise for the next three weeks due to some uh, blood pressure issues. So it's going to be a while before I can get the yak out on the water. Sorry about that. Stupid health problems. I might just one day take it out just to go out and mess around on it and you know get out you know not do any 
I don't do any serious paddling anyway. So, I'm going to get it out on the water for you guys. I promise I'll get it out there. So just hang tight, everybody. I'm as anxious as you are to get it out there on the water, and I will make it happen. something tapping on it could just be my imagination as you guys already know this river is very snaggy I've mentioned that to you plenty of times before so I'm gonna come over this way I'm gonna cast out this way where the current is taking everything Do have to admit though that little largemouth that I just caught over here that is the biggest largemouth that I've caught here not the biggest largemouth that I've ever caught but the biggest one that I've caught here all of them are you know like right up in this area out here they're really tiny and once I can get the kayak out I can get out there there's a whole bunch of hyacinth out there just waiting to be fished and wow they're busting big time out there in the spots where I am not at right now. So I might have to walk down past the picnic table if you can see that uh, those trees in a bunch down there. They're busting down that way. Ooh, look at that. That's why I'm called the fishing noob, guys. Sorry. Might want to think about... Uh, flipping the bail next time huh usually works better when you're casting that way you know I didn't bring any kind of hard baits or anything with me. Only stuff I brought with me today was uh, it's like panfish type stuff. As you know, as you saw, that was a panfish sized bass. And I'm fishing with the uh, my uh, Cast King Perigee 2 seven foot twin tip I've got the uh, the media uh, the medium tip on it today I'm realizing that the the medium heavy tip is probably a little bit too much for the stuff that's in this river Stick fish, that's good eating. Drop me some comments below if you uh, have any good recipes for stick fish. I might do a catch and cook for you guys for, you know, some good old southern fried stick fish. I don't know where to go with this now.
always hear online that you know when you're out fishing you want to match the hatch well the hatch out here is uh there's very large crawfish out here big huge ones and I was out here a while back and I got I have some I have some craws and some you know some crawfish scented uh, dips and stuff like that but nothing out here bites it I'll have to try it on camera one day so you guys can see what I'm doing and you can either laugh at me and tell me I'm doing it wrong <laughs> or uh, you know, can give me some tips and help me figure it out. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get the kayak out here. Oh, something's tapping it. Got him. Fish on. I think. Nope. Oh, it got off. <laughs> Something was tapping on me. And my worm is gone. Let's get it rigged up again. some people coming down wow he wasn't tiny at all all right fishing movers I'm back I was out there for about another two hours and I caught nothing that little largemouth was the only fish I caught out there I had a couple of nibbles but Nobody would commit out there, so I just messed around with some other new baits that I've got for a little while, tossed them out, see how they feel in the water, doing some experimenting, not really trying to catch anything. I'm lying. I was trying to catch stuff, just nothing was biting. Uh, I need to find a new fishing place. This river is getting old. The guy that runs the, uh, the little bait store up here inside the trailer park said, uh, you know, ain't not too much of nothing going on out here on the San Joaquin, so he said I might want to try the Merced River. That's where everybody's doing a lot of striper and catfish. So I might uh, get out there next week and get the kayak in the water. You know, even though my doctor told me no exercise, I'm very hard-headed. I want to get my kayak out in the water. But I'm going to chalk today up as a skunk day even though I did catch that one little largemouth and that was it I'll take the skunk on this one alright till next time like subscribe comment let me know if I should try something different I was just going with just uh, some uh, night crawlers today on some very small hooks with some uh some drop some uh, drop shot on it and it was all right still nice to get out on the water beat sitting at home all day so until next time peace out